All right, hey guys, uh, we are back with another unboxing. Um, again, we've got another Hender Scheme product here. This is the MIP 10, which is uh, obviously an homage to the Jordan 4 from Nike. So lots of complex detailing. As I've mentioned in the past, I view Hender Scheme to be like the absolute pinnacle of manufacturing. All right, cool. So jumping into some details that like stick out to me right off the bat as a person who um, has a you know slight background in shoemaking, but more than anything, I've been in this world for a minute and uh, I've come to appreciate a lot of brands, but Hender Scheme really stands out to me. So calling out uh, the first thing that I always kind of show people is this remnants of the shoe being lasted by hand. Um, when you're forming the, le uh, the leather upper, ultimately it has to be formed around the faux foot form. This little hole here is where the uh, cobbler, I suppose you would say, would sort of attach the upper to the last via one nail on either side. And what that does is allows you to have symmetry when you're lasting and you know that the shoe is gonna come out, um, you know, looking the same and then mirrored on the right and left foot. So cool little detail, small little hole. You might think it was a mistake if you didn't know better, but if you peep every uh, Hender Scheme shoe, for the most part, if the leather uh, has a surface that accommodates a hole, you'll be able to see it. Otherwise, Hender Scheme will nail into a um, like a seam. But yeah, some other things that jump out are obviously the leather lacing. As I mentioned, their whole shtick is veg tan leather that is expertly sewn, lasted, and then obviously delivered across the United States. So leather laces, a padded interior, which if I'm not mistaken is uh, water buffalo leather, so ultra soft. So you might think with a veg tan shoe, it requires a lot of break in. Um, the materials on the inside are already extremely soft and require little to no break in. So I've actually found breaking in a pair of Hender Schemes to be largely painless, but I wanted to call out how we've kind of got like a smooth and then the rough out leather and then a different uh, section of the hide altogether and then here as well. So we've got textured leather, just kind of like many layers that adds interest to the shoe um, and doesn't make it appear just like one color because this is definitely all veg tan, but you know, slightly more pink, slightly more tan, uh, peachy, if you will. But yeah, flipping them over, same deal. Uh, this is how Hender Scheme is gonna signify sizing. So this is a size five, which is roughly in my experience a nine and a half to a smaller size 10. Um, but yeah, nine, nine and a half is pretty much prime for a size five. We've got the rubber on the toe and heel to promote longevity. Um, leather soles are gonna wear down really quickly and they also are gonna get beat up pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, so having some leather is nice. You could wear these year round, I suppose. I don't know that you would rock these in the snow, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. So yeah, I mean, as you can tell, it is a Jordan 4. There's only so much to call out here. Cool little brass tack here to attach this sort of uh, leather strip around the welt, kind of closing up this welted area up front. And yeah, as I mentioned, it's just overall expertly made and you know, I could lick my finger and it would leave residue on this forever and the shoe would be changed forever. So yeah. So yeah, thanks for looking guys. Uh, this again was the unboxing of the Hender, Hender Scheme MIP 10. Uh, you might know it as the Jordan 4, but yeah, overall stunner brand, expertly made, truly works of art. Uh, wear these, buy them, put them on a shelf. It's all the same, really cool. So thanks for watching. Like, like comment, subscribe. Uh, I'd love to know if there are any other sort of unboxing videos that you'd like to hear or other Hender Scheme details you have questions about. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an open book. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys soon.